Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing box 7 of the Agora Models release, I built a G1 Optimus Prime. <laughs> There you go. I've just opened these packs up as you see they come in three trays I think every pack has three trays in this build which is cool and I think at the end of this uh, stage that we do today because we are building the legs we're going to be building onto the feet and having the internal structure of the legs today uh, I, I do want to show you everything we built so far because it's got to be seen to be believed I've got a whole box of stuff down here uh, which is really filled up uh, but I will show you that at the end of this video so stay tuned to that now if you want to get this for yourself I have put a link down here to the Agora Models website there's also a QR code on the screen that you can scan and that will take you to the Agora Medals website as well. Now, today's video is actually sponsored by Uniformation, who make this brilliant 8K 3D printer. On Sunday this week, I'm going to show you how I'm turning an 8K printer into a 12K printer. This is the Uniformation GK2 8K resin printer. This is a revolutionary printer that boasts a large build plate, heated vat reservoir, technologically advanced build plate, and its durable design with the flip top lid makes this the perfect addition to your workshop. This Black Friday, you can get $140 off the price of this printer, and if you choose to buy this as a package with the wash station and curing station, you can get $230 off. This offer is available right now. See video description for details. And if you want to see how good that prints, this is my current print, which is Wonder Woman. I am going to be painting this and putting this on the channel as well. But uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? Anyway, back to Optimus Prime. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the dilemma I can see is, do I build things at the same time or do I do it separate like the instructions? Hmm. You know what? I think... I'm going to attempt to build things at the same time because we're building two legs. It just makes sense. Let's do this. So what I'll have, this is my left hand. This is my right hand. So when I'm working on the left leg, it's going to be over here. When I'm working on the right leg, it's going to be over here. I really do hope this works. So the first thing we need are those two points that just look like this. So we've got some posts that we need to screw to them. So these are the posts here. So I can put them in. One, two, three and four. At the moment, the direction of what leg we're actually doing doesn't actually make a difference because these are all symmetrical. Now I do have these tops to put over. So one's going to go on that side there. You see it lines up absolutely perfect. And the other one's going to go on top there. And that's going to be held in with some PB 2.3 by 6 mil screws. Now you will find those screws just underneath these large sections here. So if I take them away, you can see all the screws in here. And I want to screw these into the holes just at the top here. See, I, uh, I do like to challenge myself doing two things at once. It is a Friday, but uh, <laughs> if anything's going to go wrong, it will go wrong on a Friday. I'm pretty confident I can do this. So uh, have faith, people. And there you go. They're in just like that. Now, what I'll do is if I put the left one over in that corner, the right one over in that corner, we're going to move on to the next stage. So the next things we need are looking like this. And I do have some rods to put in here. And they're just going to be resting in these points just here. So we're going to have one there. And one on this side. And I'll mirror that on the right hand side. Again, these parts are symmetrical. So it's not mattering at the moment about direction. But then we've got these lips here which are going to go in and hold this into place just like that. So one this side. And I'll put the one in on the other side as well. And once again, they're going to be held in on the other side with these 2.3 by 6 mil screws. Just for the underside there. Let's get these in. That's the last one going in. As you can see, we've got two of those now in place. Now the way these go is this is going to slot into these points just here. So, as you can see, it can go up and down just like that. So that's one, put to one side, and I'll do the same on this one as well. 
And that's the other one done as well. Put that to one side. So here we have the two feet looking just like this. These are massive. Now this is the one that they're labeling the left foot in the instructions. Just having a look at that. I would, I would have said that's the left foot. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm going by the pictures. So this is the one that I need. And what I want to do is put this metal bolt all the way through this open side here. So it goes in like that and it's going to line up the holes either side here and here. They're going to be held in with some M3 times 8 mil screws and they look just like this here. Now be careful because there is 8 mil by 10 mil screws which are slightly longer in here. And if you have a look on the side just there, it's the first hole we want to put them in. There's two holes in the side of that bolt. It's the first one, so we're leaving one of the holes on the outside. I want to take an 8mm M3 screw. These are the hex head screws, and I've got a washer to put on here, like that. I'm just going to line this up and get this screwed in. And I'm using my electric screwdriver to help me with that. Excellent. Do the same on the other side. Perfect. And then I'm going to bring the other foot over and do exactly the same thing. I'm either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid doing two at once, but we'll see at the end, won't we? <laughs> so I get these in on this side as well. And there we go. That's the other one in as well. Now I now need these parts. And as you can see, they are uniform. They are exactly the same. So as I'm putting things to this, I think it's just going to be universal when I'm putting them onto the actual foots that they go to. Did I just say foots then? <laughs> I mean feet. I mean feet. <laughs> so now two of these trays are exactly the same. So I'm just going to be taking the parts out for these. And I'm going to have a look just to see if there is a difference between the left and right. And there is, as you can see here, not so much on these parts, more on these parts here. There is a difference. And I know that because they're also stamped L for left and R for right down the bottom. And the way this goes is we take this section here, we're gonna put that into that section just like that. Then I need this plate looking just like that there. That's gonna be holding this in. So this is gonna be going over the top of this section. And that's gonna be held in with nuts on this side and bolts on this side. And these are the M3 times 14 um, bolts that we're gonna be putting in. So this is gonna be able to move just like that. And we have four of these to put in on each side. So I've put these here. We do have these funny crimped washers. They're very uh, strange looking that I do need to put on each screw. Like that. Get this through this side and screw this in. Making that nice and tight. And I'm gonna be putting three more screws in here. So there you go, that's in tight, and you should see the screws out the other side there, but this should be able to move like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the right-hand side. So again, this one's just going to be going in here like that, and then this one is going to be going over the top just like that, and then once again, we're going to be using the screws to pull that into place. So now we can identify which one we've got, because the right one's stamped with an R, the left one's stamped with an L. I want to bring over the left foot looking like this and I'm going to be attaching this left leg that we just done it's going to go on here just like that there this time it's going to be held by three times 10 mil screws these are the hex screws uh, into this side here with one of the washers we're also going to be putting one in the other side just over here and there you go look at the side camera there that's that one in place and if I've done that to the left one I'm going to do exactly the same to the right one. So again, making sure this is this way around, I can put this over the top and I'm going to be holding that in with these screws again. And as you can see, that's the right hand side one done. Excellent. Now in the first tray, we had these tabs here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be tidying the wires up so that they're running through here. And they're kind of going, uh, let me try and figure this out, out the back here, I'm guessing. But we are going to be putting these tabs into the positions that you can see here to keep some wire tidy. So I'm going to cut these off the sprue. 
and the first one I'm going to put in is going to be down there and this is just held in with these black 2.3 by 6 mil screws second one just in the middle there and then the third one will be up the top just there it does look like this is eventually going to be going round this section here but what we've done on one leg we're going to be doing the same on the other one so this is the right hand side at the moment i've got no regrets of doing two at the same time <laughs> it's going good and in a very similar fashion i am going to be putting these clamps in here so with that one in place i can put that to one side so just like we did at the start we've got one of these joints to put in there it's going to go in this way and again i do want one of these to stand out so it's going to be going in so there's a hole still uh seen on this side but i am going to put this in with the 10 mil screws to hold this in on this side so probably best on the top camera that's one in that side and i'll put one in the other side as you can see that's in perfectly there guess what i'm going to do the same on the other foot and this time it's going to be going in this way like that on this one so whereas the other one was facing a wire the wires on the outside of this leg because it's a different leg so i'm just going to get this in on the top here as well and there you go that's the right hand side one done as well now over the top of this we do have this mount looking like that which is going to go and hide this here now what i need to make sure of is that the wire does go around the outside here so when I put this over the top, it's going to kind of clamp that wire into place like that. That's going to be held in once again with these black 2.3 by 6 mil screws. Perfect. Bring over the other foot. And this time when we put the same cover on, we're not actually pinching any wire here. This is just going to be going into place like that. The wire is still loose on this side. Excellent. That's the right hand side one in. Put that to one side. Now bringing over... The left foot again i want to take what we created right at the start and we do have on the top camera you can probably see two lugs in there this is going to be going in this way just like that once again i'm holding these in with the black 2.3 by 6 mil screws that's excellent i want to put on these internal sections onto this section here so we've got one going onto this side like this that connected in and then one on the other side over here excellent and again these black 2.3 screws to hold that in so there's three screws on this side to make this tight and if i just turn it round, i've got four screws on this side to put this side in here now you do know what plates you're putting in there because they are stamped this is the right one obviously I'm working on the left one first this is the last screw just going in here that's holding this whole section on just put this on the top because what's going to happen now is this top section just here is actually going to go onto the pegs that we can see just like that there and once again the black screws is going to keep that into place one there and just one on the other side so when this moves it feels like a hydraulic but as you can see I've got pistons going backwards and forwards there excellent i'm going to do the other foot this time i'll do it the way the instructions tell me to do because i did it in the wrong order last time these should go on before we put that clamp in so i'll put this one on first going in this side again four screws i've taken the top of this just like last time I can put this in here like this and again secure that with a 2.3 by 6 mil screws there you go and then all i have to do is put these little hydraulic pistons back into the shafts here making sure this is round the right way because then this is going to fit over this section here again with those black screws and then once again just do a test to make sure that goes up and down excellent put that to one side 
And what I'm going to do now is one of these that we took right out at the very start of the pack. It's going to go on top of this section just like that there. It's actually held in with screws either side here. Once again, these are the 10 mil screws and they do have these little crimped washers in there. And one of these go in from either direction. So that looks like that. I'll bring over the other foot. And I've just noticed in the instructions, they still want this going underneath the hole here for the wire. Because I was worried about the wire coming out. It's still going to go underneath this section on the right foot. Get that through. And it is going to be hidden over the top of this mount, just like the last one. So I'm just going to take these screws out just so I can get that round. Exactly the same way as what we've done before. So then, then when this goes over the top, that wire is now nice and clean at the top. So let me just get these screws back in. And what that means then is then we can do the same thing on this side. That's just going to go over the top like that with this edge pointing towards the front of the foot. And again, the 10 mil screws with the crimp washer to hold that in. So that's the last one going in there. So I'll put that foot to one side. Now we don't want any pinch in the wire of the left foot here. So we do have another clip to put over the top of this section here. Again, this came in the very first tray and it's going to go onto the top of this section like that. But it is screwed in from the other side once again with these 2.3 by 6 mil screws. So as you can see, that's how that clip looks when it's in. So it's holding this wire here. And then in here, I do have another one of these blocks that we use, one of these joints, which is just going to go in here just like that. And again, the same 10 mil screws and the crimped washer each side. So when that's in, it should look like that. I'm pretty happy with how we are managing to do this all at the same time here. So once again, I'm going to put this bracket in to keep that into place on the right foot. And then once again, the joint in the top of the right foot and the 10 mil screws to hold that in. And as you can see on the right foot, that one's in. I've got the left foot here again now. And I've got this joint, which we're going to be putting over the top. It's actually just going to go over the top of that section there. And this time, once again, 10 mil screws to keep that into place, just like that. And then I want to turn it over. And we're going to be tracing the wire. So that it's going over this section just here. Probably best on one of the close-up cameras. And it's sort of going to come out the side over here. But uh, we do have a blank plate to put in there, which looks like this. It's just going to go over the top of that to keep that wire into place and held in with the black screws. And then I'm going to be holding this into place by putting these plates on. So put one on this side. So once that's in place, I've turned it over and I'm going to be putting some black screws to hold that in into the holes just here. So there's four holes here to keep this side in. One, two, three, and four. I do like how the wire tidy is in this. Very clever. And then once that's in, I can put the other side on, which is just gonna go over the top like this. Make sure it's engaged and it's actually screwed in, once I've got it in place, just from this side over here. So that's one screw. You will be tempted to put them in the holes in this side, but it's not. It's the holes in this side here. Number two and one more at the top. And that is the left foot completed. So if I show you up here what it's looking like, <laughs> it's big. It's very big. So let's finish the right one. I'm glad I did this both at the same time. So in exactly the same way of what we've just done, this is just going to go over the top here. And again, we're going to be putting the 10 mil screws just through these holes. I'm going to be putting the wire in here and putting the clamp over the top to keep that into place. I'm going to be putting this section over the top, lining up these four holes here and again 
the black screws to tighten this up. And then we're just going to put the top on just like last time, turn it over. And it's going to be held in from this side again with the black screws. And there you go. That's the right foot done as well. So as you can see, it goes up and down, no problems at all. And it bends to the left and to the right. They all do that. So we've got one and we've got two. They're looking pretty cool, pretty big, aren't they? So I promised you at the start of this video, just get rid of this empty tray. Let's uh, show you, we've got the big legs now. We've also got big arms looking like that. That's one side. <laughs> we've got another big arm, which looks like this. Put that down. We've got the head that we worked on at the very start, matching my t-shirt. And then finally, we've got the start of the chest areas just there as well. So uh, lots of pieces, it's looking really good at the moment. And once again, if you wanna get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and the QR code on the screen. We'll take you to the Agora Models website where you can get this absolutely ginormous robot or uh, robot in disguise for yourself. I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.